five billionaire explorers decided on June 18th that they wanted to explore the abandoned shipwreck known as the Titanic. But little did they know that it wouldn't go as they planned. Welcome to What's the Topic, and today we're going to be talking about the tragedy of what happened to these Titanic explorers. As of right now, this topic is trending everywhere, so most of you probably know a good chunk of what's going on. But for those who don't know, we're here to inform you. So on June 18th, Hamish Harding, Paul Nargillet, Shazada Dawood, his teenage son Suleiman Dawood, and Stockton Rush began their two-hour descent to the wreck in the morning. By the way, this trip costs $250,000 for each person aboard, in case you weren't aware. Anyways, their submarine lost contact with the support ship that transported the vessel to the site approximately 1 hour and 45 minutes into its descent. Also, in case you didn't know, the Titanic is 12,500 feet below sea level, which means that the air pressure is really high. So if you're not careful enough, then you'll be in deep trouble. But thankfully for his team, some of them are skilled deep sea divers, such as Paul Nargillet. He has done over 30 dives to the Titanic since the 1980s. That's insanely impressive if you ask me. Now, Hamish Harding though, he once traveled more than two and a half miles along the floor of the Mariana Trench, which is 35,876 feet below the sea surface. Anyways, apparently Stockton Rush's company OceanGate was informed that the submarine they were taking had a chance of not making it to the intended depth. But despite this warning, the crew still took the risk. It was said that on June 20th and 21st, a Canadian aircraft heard banging noises while flying near the area. The Coast Guard couldn't figure out what the noises were when they heard it, but it was most likely one of the passengers trying to send a message in Morse code. Officials believe that the passengers on board were all probably huddled up trying to conserve body heat due to the freezing water temperatures creating frost on the inside parts of the submarine. And they also must have only had a short supply of food and water along with them. Search parties were looking for them all week and didn't find the sub until Thursday, June 22nd, which at the time of this recording was only yesterday. Sadly, by the time they found them, they had already run out of oxygen. And according to a U.S. Navy official, it was an acoustic anomaly consistent with an implosion that was reportedly heard days ago by a top-secret U.S. Navy detection system. They just weren't 100% sure what it was at the time. This occurred shortly after the sub had lost contact with the surface on Sunday, June 18th. So, all this time they had been looking and hoping for them to be okay, they had already been long gone. This truly is a tragedy, and our prayers go out to all the passengers' families. May they forever rest in peace, and hopefully after this, there are more secure and safe submarines built to be taken to such deep levels of the ocean. <laughs>